Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel English World and I am back with another tutorial of Classera. In this video I will explain you how you can hide obtained marks and wrong or right answers from your students. Um, we all know that students when they know the marks or they know that uh, they have made any mistake in the question they will keep asking you certain questions. So to avoid these situations, you can hide your marks, which are obtained by students, and also the correct or wrong answer. If they have made any mistakes, it will also not be shown to them. So when you're preparing your exam, um, there will be an option where you are going to write the title of your exam whatever it is so you are going to write it here I have written exam you are going to write uh, type down the publishing date if it's going to be tomorrow let's say 28 October so I have uh, published it I'm going to publish it tomorrow 11 o'clock let's say so I have uh, typed it down this and uh, how long your exam will be the duration of uh, that exam will be all here so this is the basic uh, information about your exam then comes um, your comments and uh, other information which is not really necessary I only write the the basic uh, comment which is to read question carefully before answering them so let's move on to the main option where you can hide your marks, your students' marks from them. So here, look here. You have option under main heading, correct answers. So I'm going to zoom in so you can all see it clearly. So either you can just don't show correct answers you have option to choose this one or show the correct answers after submission if you want your students to know what if they have um, choose chosen the correct answers so they can see that to show the correct answers after cutoff date after the date is over the cutoff date you can choose this one but which I prefer is hide the correct answers and final grade so this um, helps you from a lot of questions from your students and uh, a, lot, a lot of chaos can be avoided. So you click on this one, hide the correct answers and final grade. So by clicking on this, what will happen is that they will not be able to see the final marks which they will be obtaining in the exam and also they will not be able to see how many questions were wrong they answered and how many questions were right they answered correctly also another option which I prefer is randomized question order so in order to avoid any cheating any mishaps during your exam or quiz you can just randomize question order so how you can do that is you just click on it and when they will be taking exam, if you have 10 students, 20 students, no matter how many students in your online session, each and every stu student will be having a shuffled or jumbled uh, question. So if one person has question one, according to your prepared exam, um, a question one, if one person is having, a student is having, then the another person or the student will not be having the same question um, as the first student student a so this will give the students jumbled up questions so this avoids the uh, cheating and they cannot cheat during exam or the quiz you can also log br browser while taking exam which I do not prefer and there is also an option to view questions one by one um, I also do not um, prefer this one because uh, let them go back and forth is better than just go one by one 
so by going back and forth I think they can just answer and recheck their questions easily and you can also set time limit for each question so if you want to your students to um, have limited time on each question you can also check um, this um, button okay and also you can show custom responses to students for each answers of a question so for from all these options the best one I choose is randomized question order um, which can um, give students all jumbled up questions and also the other one from the above set of options which is hide the correct answers and final grade and that's how you can set your exam paper online exam in Classera. then you have the option to time for time limit if it's going to be 90 minutes or it's going to be 45 minutes 30 minutes according to your um, timings you can set the time limit you can also allow students to have the ability or the choice to have multiple submissions if they do not feel they have taken the exam the first attempt was not right for them they can take another uh, they can submit it multiple times um, they can also have hints to each question if you think your exam is too hard the level of exam is really hard you can give them custom hints for each question you can also determine the passing status of this course and uh, you can also issue a certificate after passing the exam and then depends how many students or a section of students you want to publish your exam so this is I think the best options which we have in Placera before submitting or preparing your exam to students um, you can check on these buttons or you can click on these in order to avoid any misunderstandings among students and to save your time as well so I hope you like this video and uh, please share this video it is very informative for the teachers during these days um, we are all having online teaching so please share it with other teachers and help them and help them save their time goodbye and see you in my next video bye